Hello and happy May. Look at all the leaves are coming out on the trees. They're unfurling. It's going to be a quick transition, I think, from spring to summer. We're supposed to have a high in the 90s this weekend. And I was just on my walk and realizing I haven't shared with you any changes in my beautiful river in a while. So I'm going to let you look at this beautiful river while I tell you about a podcast I was listening to on my walk. I listened to David Pearl, the founder of Street Wisdom, and I will link that in the below this video. He was interviewing a fellow who was half Ethiopian, raised in Africa, and made his living bringing tours of people to Africa on safaris. And he was standing on the beach, looking at all the plastic and thinking, I can't honestly tell people that their you know, romantic trip to the beach is gonna be beautiful because it's not. I wanna glue all this plastic back together and send it back where it came from. Anyhow, years later, what transpired was the flip-flop boat. And so mostly flip-flops is what they find and apparently flip-flops are really sturdy like they last forever so you can glue them together and turn them into actual functioning high quality boats the flip-flop boat so in his podcast he was just talking a lot about the need for positive leadership that there's plenty of environmental crises to be really negative and uh yeah to just gloom and doom about and I was thinking about how impressed I was with one of the members of Moonfeather Hollow who, in response to a daily musing question, because we post 365 days of daily musings, prompts to take to your journal, to answer in the comments, um, or to spark a craft or an action. And one was what's been on your mind lately, and she expressed concern for the environment. And she turned it around like, this concern was an activator and a motivator for her instead of a, a doom and gloom thing. And she, she expressed how much she was learning from her own reflections. And, um, you know, again, this, this theme of needing positive leadership. And so I remember in my days of, you know, the workaday world with corporate trainings and, and how, how to motivate people and all that jazz. And I remember hearing that there are really only ever two motivators, pleasure and pain. And I'm listening to this podcast of this fellow who I'll, I'll link. And he's talking about how positive he is. And David Pearl is calling him like a ray of walking sunshine and asking him, how is he so positive? And I'm reflecting and I'm thinking, you know, Amy and I get the same question with Moonfeather Hollow. Um, sort of this, question about how in tune with reality are we if we're so positive all the time and it's that and the, what this guy said his words were it takes discipline to be committed to finding the positivity and Amy and I call it finding gold it takes discipline and commitment amidst all of the aspects of our three-dimensional consensual reality of which as you well know it isn't always pretty it takes a great commitment to finding the gold. So, happy May. There's some spring musings 